Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to uh, the CKC channel. I'm your host, Fira Martha Calvin Klaassen, and we are here for the final day of the SA Paradigm Chess 30 Championships. And uh, yeah, things are not getting any easier for the players. It's, it's getting tense. There's a lot of money at stake and a lot of pride as well. And then and, and new new uh, ideas appearing on the board. And uh, we've got the uh, third the, the the match for third and fourth right now uh it's a match of two games each and if it's tied we're gonna go to five time breaks and so on but um yeah we have our two uh, uh, uh gladiators basically we have um ben hercules and uh, johannes mabusela uh welcome players hey, sure, sure. Hey, hello uh, thank you Th thank you for thank you for having Great to have you guys to show you guys in playing brilliant chess uh, or paradigm chess that we for, for us and of course my co-guest uh Lance Van Vogel welcome good morning Calvin always a pleasure to see some exciting paradigm chess uh, on a Sunday morning yeah yeah it's exciting it seems like myself and Lance is basically um opposites today uh when it comes to the attire so we'll see which commentator will deliver the, <laughs> the best quality <laughs> anyway uh so so just maybe a quick question uh we've gone a, a long way we've played since last weekend and maybe a question just for for the players uh i'll start off with a with a with a veteran with an experienced guy uh mr mabusela uh what uh, is your experience thus far this is your first time playing in this tournament what's your experience how how is yeah. the game to you and what can you tell us <clears throat> just something short um Yes, I'm. I must say, Kevin, I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying every game, every position, every move. You know, um, I've went through all the games which which uh, which, uh, which was played. The one that uh, uh, Lorenzo uh, sent us. So you know, I, I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying this new funny looking bishop. Uh, you know, um, but uh, it looks like with uh, with time and and me playing more more games on it, then I, I will be able to actually. Um, you know, improve on it. You, you will be able of, to um, come and I am in Paradigm Chester. It, 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 it looks like it, but um, I must say, for now, I'm I'm really enjoying every 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 battle nice. that I'm that I'm actually uh, faced so far. Okay, okay. Uh, thanks, thanks, Mabs. And um, yeah, Ben, um, what's your experiences uh, from this event? You've also been playing some brilliant chess. What's your thoughts and uh, experience from it? Yeah, I've really enjoyed the 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 differences from normal chess. <clears throat> Excuse me. The the bishops, uh, the dragons, they add such a new dimension to the game, and uh, all the positions are very rich. And uh, it's very nice to just sit and try and figure things out in something completely new and quite unexplored. So I've also really been enjoying that. Fantastic. Uh, thanks. Thanks so much, guys, for your time. I know you guys are focused and ready for, for your match. So I will ask Lance what's his thoughts during the match, rather. So Lance will be able to give us some more uh, thoughts on that. So uh, let's switch over to the board. And there we have it. Of course, Ben has the white pieces for round one, guys. Uh, Johannes has got the black pieces. It is 15 minutes <clears throat> aside with a 15 second increment as usual. Um, I usually do a randomization of the of the board. Just a random, just a random question here, guys. Has one of you played this position before? I don't think it's been in the event, right? Are you both happy with this position? Yeah, I'm I'm right. Right. Oh, okay, it's fine. I don't. Um, it's, it's up to you. Can randomize or you can just just do what you normally do. So you are fine. Yeah, are you, ben, are you fine, or can I leave it like this? I, I don't. I don't mind. Okay, so I like the dragon bishops like this because I did randomize it already, guys. So just for the viewers out there, okay. it's not that, that I'm planning this position for everybody. But, <laughs> um, so I'm going to leave it like this with, with that setup. And uh, yeah, so players, you can mute yourselves, take off the earphones or whatever you need to do. And Ben, you can start whenever you are ready. Good luck. Just make sure everybody muted and um, yeah so Lance uh, yeah at least we're on time today or relatively on time compared to yesterday so hopefully we'll have you for the whole duration of the match 
Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's the plan. I'm, uh, hopefully we can, we can see this thing through. Uh, and also, it, it, uh, yesterday was quite exciting as well. And I'm sure today we will be entertained. Yes, yes, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, the two dragon bishops next to each other on this side and the two knights standing on the other side next to the king. Uh, good morning to everybody. Good morning, Bungie and Prince Chiggs. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. This is the, the, the third and fourth place match. Uh, the winner of this match will go home with uh, uh, 4,000 Rand. And the loser of this match goes home with uh, uh, 3,000 Rand. So how good does it feel to lose here today, Lance? Well, it, it kind of feels like uh, either way you should you should be okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, Calvin, let's just go through this um, uh, setup uh, quickly. Oof. I mean, if you look at this position, Finn. we can already see uh, White has got a lovely uh, pawn center supported by the dragon bishops. Yes. You know what I mean? Uh, knights can come out nice and freely. I think uh, we, we would... Uh, it's a bit more harmonious, I would say, uh, playing whether it's black or white. This yeah, yeah, no, this, this, this really looks nice. This looks nice, uh, easier for, for the players to maybe decide how to develop. And Ben has decided to do to, to take a huge center. Um, so Mabu's gonna have to play it's something like a hippo here. He's, 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 he's playing easy, and this maybe he'll try to strike back at e5. Uh, the format of today, of course, uh, just to answer Bunting's question, it uh, is a th it, this is for third and fourth place. Again, we're playing matches of two games each and uh, if if it is even or square one one after the two games then we will go to tie breaks and the tie breaks that for for today um is slightly different from the tie breaks of the previous uh, uh matches where we will have three tie break games so each player will play it uh, okay the tie breaks time control is five minutes with a 10 second increment so it's blitz mode there will be Two games played and then the third one as well so last time we only had two but this time we will have three tie break blitz games so after the three usually there should be a winner but if it's still level level by some chance one and a half one and a half then we will go over to armor given and then the player that got the white pieces in the third game will get the black pieces in the armor given so that's the, 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 the structure for today guys something uh but more refined for the tie breaks because things are getting serious now we're talking uh benjamins and we're talking about first second third and fourth basically knight g3 on the board knight g6 um Mkumbeleni says all the best to i am so uh, yeah welcome everyone it's found to be an interesting match and of course we've got the big one last the finals late on today starting at 12. we've got uh, the Man of Steel versus the African Lion. We've got uh, I am uh, Henry Steel versus I am Watu Kobese. So they, this, they, it, it, it is basically bound to to have some some drama, some some action. And those two, when whenever they collide, they spark something. So yes, I'm sure it will be a very entertaining game uh, to see those players in action. I mean. You never know what can happen, even in this format of the game, um, chess uh, paradigm. It, you you always find that anything can happen. You can be a pawn down, a piece down. Uh, as long as you have play, you have the initiative. Yes. There's always hope. Let's see if I can adjust my camera slightly. There we go. Yeah. But Calvin, also for, uh, for me, I think you asked me earlier about uh, how I feel with, with this game as well. I think... Yeah, it has grown a bit on me in terms of the uh, the movement of the pieces. It, it's a, it's amazing how you always have to be checking your calculations all the time. Or uh, I mean, you can't just uh, rely uh, on general uh, theory. So it, as Ben said before, it really changes the way how you how you look at chess. You know what I mean? So. It just gives you more options, more. I mean, I remember if you're playing in a normal chess game, some of the moves you play, you don't have to think so much because it's been so overanalyzed. And yeah. with this game, I kind of feel that it actually levels the playing field for a lot of players that maybe haven't studied so much theory. Exactly. So exactly. It, it's really exciting. That's a good point, Lance. Very important point. And that's why the players usually think a bit longer in the opening. I mean, usually if you see these two players at a normal chess tournament, they're whipping out the first 10, 15 moves. 
but they thinking it from the get-go so very important point so that's also something nice for for people to consider if you always frustrated you you've got this friend that that always no theory up to move 10 15 and you just want to get a normal position against him to 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 basically crush him of uh, at least be level of so uh this game level the playing field like you said last um what's up scariest name welcome to the show um Bungie is asking you last will you play a pc 30 tournament that's an interesting question i i would it would be really it. it would be quite fun to play i was gonna say it's not an interesting question it's a straightforward question it's a yes or no <laughs> <laughs> no it can also be interesting as well yeah. uh, Depends on time as well, but I would definitely would like to play if I get the opportunity. Yeah, I would uh, love to, to see. Especially if, if I'm playing against a, a Manchester United player. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's it's, it's bound to be uh, a white to watch them if, you, if you're gonna say it like that. But uh, no, just uh, all kidding aside. Uh, yeah, it should be interesting. Um, you know, it's always interesting to see commentators also play. Uh, I was actually thinking for my own event. Uh, to also at some point my own my own uh, invitation was to have like a, a coaches event or or, 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 or uh, viewers or even a commentators event that that should be interesting but yeah so uh, Johannes says he's keeping it compact here he's just developed his knights to f6 and g6 his castle and he's waiting for white uh, Ben has got some choices here Ben can castle Ben can develop a dragon bishop Ben can push in the center Ben can even play h4 we've seen Ben use the side pawns already so um what would you do in this situation now for white why to play I, I think I would try to somehow get my bishops maybe um get, get one of my dragon bishops to c3 maybe or to b2 and uh try and develop uh, uh develop my dragon bishops as well and it's tough Calvin so, eh? uh, so would you would you delay castling for a bit First, or you would be passing in a bit. I think I think I, I, I would um, I would delay castling. Yeah, I would maybe play. Okay, uh, and just as you said, it <laughs> Ben Castle. So uh, Ben decides. But you know what? I I would have delayed castling myself as well, just to keep your options open. But the thing is, this you want to go e5, but you don't want to open up the center with your king on the, on the middle like this. And the, on the other hand, maybe Ben is taking a different approach, just trying to keep it solid. I mean, it's 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 basically uh, a very important moment in the tournament. He wants to secure at least a third position, and he's trying to keep things tight for now. Um, I I think at this stage you don't want to risk risk too much. I suppose uh, it's it's a lot of things that's unclear. H four could be very nice, or it could be it could back backfire as well. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I mean, now in this position, maybe uh, again, maybe just b3, just slow build up, rook yeah. e1, maybe uh, try to connect the uh, the rooks, maybe, and then try to see if you can get e5 in. Yes. maybe. and 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 the thing is, this I I would kind of think that it's more expected from black to play such such dynamic play because usually it's difficult for black to come to equalize e easily so black needs to try funny stuff sometimes but marble goes e5 and he's got in this uh type of nunzo uh type of structure eventually you know in the nunzo indian sometimes you play e6 and then e6 and later e5 so uh, marble's also been playing the nunzo indian for many many years and uh, it seems like he's got his stake in the center i think marble has done quite quite well because you uh, you might ask yourself is that extra c pawn for white really a big factor because that's almost the only difference here of course b4 and b6 white still has slightly a bit more space but i think black has done well to get a decent addition yeah i mean calvin this position is still very uh it's still very even i mean it's not really much that's happening you can't really say that black has uh white has a slight advantage here i don't know yeah i know so um yeah, po possibilities of a queenless middle game, Bungie says over there. Possibilities. And of course, the prize money, just to remind you, I think I did mention it before, but Bungie is asking uh, third and fourth. We said that uh, fourth place is a 3,000 rand, and uh, third place is a 4,000 rand for today. And then, of course, uh, the final match lance, uh, the second place will, so the player that ends second will go home with a 5,000 rand. And then the winner of uh, the Paradigm Chess that the champs winner will go home with a 6,000 rand. So, yeah, lots at stake today. 
Um, but either way, all the players are going home with, with a decent amount after the tournament. So they've done well to get this far. Yeah, but you see, Calvin, now, now this is what I, I was talking about before, about, uh, about uh, chess paradigm, is that you, uh, you won't normally play a move like knight f5 in this position because yeah. of your bishop that would be on f5. And now yeah. with the dragon bishop, I mean, you, you can't capture that knight. The knight, as we have said this before, the knight has got so much free reign in this position. And now that's how you can slightly, you can just build up your attack. Uh, yeah, so, so but yeah, just coming back to Lance's point, yes, indeed, that Knight F5 move is something you wouldn't play in a normal chess game. Usually it would develop, complete the development first before you jump in like that. And like you said, the Dragon Bishops are not willing to capture the Knights. So Knights have more freedom to ro roam, basically. But Pawn takes D4 was played, uh, Knight F3 takes D4 was played, and uh, Mabu is hovering over the move Pawn to A6. Um... So, so the knights are looking interesting on d4 and f5. And uh, yeah, yeah Bungie is saying he likes uh, scariest uh, names, suggestion of the knights being called dragon slayers. Uh, <laughs> knights, uh, yeah, the knights, of course, uh, the medieval times. If you look at the, uh, your, 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 your uh, stories for the kids, the knights are. Uh, a lot of times, slay the dragon. There's dragons on the board, there's knights on the board, kings on the board, there's castles. So it looks like a medieval story we 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 commentating on. <laughs> and of course, Scarius name is going to join us later today for the finals, guys. So um, I think he's just warming himself up here. And uh, their scariest name just decreases his, his shares. <laughs> Somebody who appreciates the gold he gives. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, that's a good one. That is a good one. Um, okay. So let's see. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking in this position, you, what would... Uh... Black play, I mean, how do you strike? Oof, so, so Mama plays a move that is uh, committal, I would say. And and like, like I was saying earlier just now, um, Ben actually played the move that you also mentioned earlier, last the B3 move. But C5 is a very committing move because that D5 square is so weak. Okay, Black has a knight on F6 covering the square, but can Mabu really keep out pieces from D5 forever? Uh, it's very committing, but... Like I said, black usually is the one that has to play a bit more drastic to, to stay in the game. Uh, hmm. This kind of uh, this kind of makes you think of uh, openings like um, like in a knight off where you play a six, but instead of c five move like you would play e five, bit uh, of a similar structure. Yes, yeah, uh, you can even get it sometimes in the king's Indian uh, against those three three set setups where black just. Gives up the b5 square, but he plays rook b8 and b5 and looks for counter play. Maybe. So Mabu is obviously looking for some active play uh, in compensation for that weakness on b5. We have noticed that it's more about initiative and dynamic play than uh, than um, uh, positional uh, factors in the long run. But that b5 square could be a huge lift off for Ben later on for dynamic reasons. So um, I think that's a big decision that Mabu made, and, and, and now the game is actually um, unbalanced, I think. Structurally, dynamics, Black of course is threatening knight takes e4 now. The knight on f5 will start to feel a bit more shaky as well. So how does Ben react to this one? Mm, I mean, do you, do you play knight c3 in a position? Knight c3, but I mean... Is, is knight takes e4 still possible? I'm worried about knight takes e4 and then the knight on f5 and then... But I guess you can still get away with it. I mean, knight e2 to g3 is another possibility. And the two knights are at least covering each other. You know what I'm saying? But still, I don't know. Maybe knight yeah. c3 is... A, maybe knight c3, c3 makes more sense because you're looking at the d5 score. 
I mean, it's just it's just worth looking at uh, the knight c3. Of course, you would like to play knight. Uh, knight g3 is a bit more conservative. And yeah. That's what you normally an autopilot. If you don't, you will play that more quickly. But maybe it's just looking for something a bit more or dynamic. But the still the problem is, even if you go knight g3 or knight g3, I'm thinking knight takes e4 for black. You don't want to take with your dragon bishop. You have to take with a knight, and then f5 is still hanging. Yeah. And then dragon takes f5, and then the dragon on f5 is covering the d6 pawn. So if knight c3, knight takes e4, you might have to play something like knight to g7. Aha. So in this calculate this knight c3, knight takes e4, knight g7. So if black captures on c3, the dragon will take back on c3 and protect the knight on g7. So that variation doesn't work out for black. If you take on g7, king takes g7, and knight takes e4, then you got your piece back. So I think knight c3 looks good to me, because there's no sack on e4. Uh, Bungie says knight g3, dragon g5, knight h5, dragon c3, f3, first I think. So yeah, that's a possible setup, knight to g3, and playing dragon g5, to pin the knight and knight h5. But okay, black can possibly play h6. I don't know if there's, there's dangers. That's, that's a nice setup there. Uh, ben goes for the sober and solid F3. Just establishing the bind. Proper bind. I don't know why I didn't consider that. But I, I mean, it, it should be solid. It should be solid. Yeah, wh 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 why move away? And also, yeah, as you said, like just strengthening your center. Good central e4 pawn and we now strengthen it maybe say next move say uh, knight c3 yeah knight c3 is looking good now now knight c3 is definitely on the cards knight c3 I, um, I mean dragon g5 is still an idea because if after dragon g5 black goes h6 you could possibly sack uh, that is a possibility but i don't know i, I would say why can this slowly build up his structure looks better Mabu, it's up to Mabu here to find something active to do because if he just sits back and gives white time, white is gonna just be all over that b5 square and the b6 form could possibly be weak. I mean, normally, what you would do in situations like this, you would like to lash out with b5 yeah. to at least uh, create some counterplay, yes, and and also that b4 square at some point, but it doesn't yeah. seem like black's pieces are. Uh, ready to get to the d4 square. So. I mean, you have to play knight e5, maybe knight c6, yeah. and then the knight can go there. But I mean, you you still don't have enough, uh, don't have control over d4 That's because of problem. those two knights. So what is Mabu gonna play? Yeah, is he gonna go b5? Is he gonna develop a dragon bishop? I don't think he has too many choices here. Because, I mean, the, even if you look at the bins, uh, just for, for instance, a dragon to B2 type of move. A dragon looks super dangerous on the diagonal with a knight on F5 looking at G7. So, I, 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 I am a bit uh, worried here for Mabu, and this is why he's taking his time. He's got a solid 3-minute advantage here, but he's, he's going to take some time here to figure things out. It would be unwise to just play fast here, because things can open up very quickly on the king side for him. Okay, what, what, so, so, so what would you play in the position? I'm not sure yet. I don't like Black's position. I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, I would like to play B5, like you said, but is White really going to be bothered by B5? What, what is B5 doing? He's threatening to isolate the board on C4, but no, I'm not worried about that. So how can I mean... Black be influential in the game? How can he at least white crazy stop him from just holding up the pressure on the king side you, you know what white can even play dragon b1 to c3 and dragon c1 to b2 and have a beautiful battery on the diagonal i mean there's so much pressure uh, up that diagonal thing so i think very set up here for a nice attack in liking white here I mean, black can, black can put his dragon bishop on a7 to control the d4 square, but I still don't see it yet how he's going to get a piece on b4. Mabu finally plays b5, but it's it's almost like you uh, you have not, you have nothing better. So. Uh, that's what I'm saying. It's like it's difficult to find a, a move. in the, At least b5 is a move. Uh, maybe just waiting for your opponent as well. 
and then uh... yeah so so um so Bungie says the dragon slays the star of course the knight on f5 is is tremendous then uh play putting his dragon on c3 as expected um and Bung Bungie is saying a knight e7 to neutralize the f5 knight is a possibility yeah maybe we should think of neutralizing the knight on f5 because he's the monster in the position uh the dragon slayer like serious name says and a possible g6 even but g6 the diagonal is going to get super weak so but by the way mabu has captured on c4 is ben just going to automatically recapture mabu might get some counter play with this uh dragon to e6 eating the c4 pawn uh good morning mabu uh that's our finalist for later on today starting at 12 o'clock guys mabu gube uh thanks for joining and he says rook, maybe rook to e5 in petrosian style i would say just uh offering up the exchange but this time it's not offering up the exchange because the dragon bishop is stronger than the rook here uh, rook to e5 is an interesting idea because it might just be tempting white into playing f4 and then the e4 pawn is uh, uh, obviously weak so interesting idea over there uh how do we continue lance is been contemplating not taking back on c4 and just doubling up on the diagonal or what um i'm thinking maybe he's is just considering i don't know uh, i would take on c4 because after dragon to b2 you're even protecting c4 but okay a possible root b8 is coming I would just say maybe there's no need to complicate now just 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 capture on c4 i mean i don't see anything immediate for black Maybe, oh yeah, maybe black will play knight e5, attacking the pawn. Yeah, the c4 see. pawn can be a target. So Mabu has found yeah. some play here. Uh, and Mabu Gubra says the idea with rook e5 is to take the knight on e5. Interesting, yeah. So just getting rid of the monster over there. We've seen that the rook sometimes can be less uh, influential than the knight. So so yeah, that, that's a cool idea, Mabu Gubra. Um Bungie says we'll just gambit pawn. Yeah, and it's interesting just to continue along. I would say just play dragon b2. Forget about the pawn. Hmm. And if you take on b3, b3, then you, you continue. Leave the pawn on b3. Go for the attack. Then go to the sober root and it takes back on c4. Bungie says that rook e5, maybe just knights g3 to, to reinforce the other knight. Okay, so how about how do you how would you go if you play knight knight e5? Knight e5. How would you drag. respond? Okay, I want to play dragon c1 to b2, but it might be just too automatic for me because then black is gonna play dragon to c6, b8 yeah. to c6, and then rook b8 is coming. So we might have to then first play rook c1, and if rook b8, then dragon to a1. Yeah, maybe dragon to b2 is possible, then a quick rook c1 and dragon to a1, just to keep the pressure on the diagonal. That's one way of doing it. You could put your dragon bishop on e3 as well to defend c4. That's another way. Um, but I must admit, I probably, looking at this, I, do, I didn't want to take back on c4. Because uh, the c4 square could be nice. Because if black later on played C B and you played A B for instance, then the C4 square is slightly still is at least covered for the moment and black can't use that C4 square as a left off point. But um still it's not easy just to not capture back so so Ben choosing the more normal route. What is Mabu gonna play? Mabu plays dragon is hovering over the E6. Dragon to E6 is played, C4 is hanging, it's behind the D4 square as well. Um, Bungie said dragon to g5 is coming up. Dragon to g5, interesting move. Yeah, I was also thinking about the dragon g5 move at least, uh, just lining up against the king. Yep, but... and you could maybe play knight g3 after that. Uh, c4 yeah. prevents b5 break, he says. Black could have played b5 perhaps if you didn't catch it, so also a valid point. Things are eating up here, Lance. Both players are, are, are trying to impose themselves in, into this middle game. Uh, Mabu doesn't think, seem too happy, but he's at least threatening will, something. Yeah, Ben will have to maybe uh, let that, that pawn go there. I mean, do you really want to defend that pawn? You can hold on to it for, for a while. Like Mabu, Gube, and myself, were, I was suggesting... Knight C3, maybe? I don't know. Knight 2? C. 
Do what you say? Uh, no, 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 knight e3 oh, protecting. Right. I mean, you could play knight e3 and possible knight e5. That's not a bad idea, but you, you're probably going to just exchange your knights like that. And uh, do you really want to remove the knight from f5? That's the question. Yeah. I would play dragon to b2. Um, but um, like I said, maybe the rook will get to b8, so you'll have to move your a1 rook soon and play dragon a1, but then c falls hanging again. Uh, Mapu Bube says that uh, maybe not because of knight e5, the diagonal will be blocked, and then c4 is also hanging, knight e5 coming up. So Mapu has actually created something here real. It seems like the c4 pawn is a real problem. Um, uh, L I think that's Luto, right? Luto uh, says knight g7, interesting. Uh, and then queen d2. Ooh, there's some classical type of sacrifices. <laughs> uh, Mabu Gubes is speculative. Interesting though. Knight g7, king takes queen d2. Lars, I could see you play this type of uh, idea uh, years ago. Many years ago. <laughs> Knight g7, king g7, queen d2. I mean, it will be scary. It will at least guarantee some type of a shock factor. Um, how is black going to get rid of that? Maybe you can play dragon to b7, covering the knight and f6. So on. Doesn't seem like you are, are mating yet, but an interesting idea. Of Google says, let's maybe just uh, build it up with a knight e to g3, and then it's coming. Aha, and Ben says you can have the c4 pawn, and he's eyeing that g7 square. Yeah, you? I like that move. He's I like eyeing it. that g7 square. <sighs> and Bungie also just reminding us dragon g5 will just put the... Uh, Put the cream on on everything for that, and uh, whew, Mabu is hovering over the C4 pawn. He's uh, not really? too worried. He's capturing it. Wow. I mean, uh... Mabu grabbed on C4. Ooh. I, I I kind of feel you you I don't know you uh, so, losing a bit of time uh, yeah, playing a move like that. Doesn't knight g7 and knight h5 basically, Lance. And Ben whoops in knight g7. King g7, knight h5, get your piece back immediately yeah. with a winning attack. Exactly. Yeah, I think I this mean, this looks extremely good for white. I mean, so this might just be, uh, over, get, be over soon. Abu Gube is recommending a rook e5 lance. Let's just block that diagonal. Rook e5, can we go? Yes, we can just go back to knight f5. Job done yeah. for the knight. And then there's oh, and tremendous there's weaknesses four. of the dark squares. Okay, if was a possibility, we just watch out for knight e4, but surely that won't be able to to, to stop the, the flooding for, for forever. So Mabu just missing this idea actually. Um I think he could have been a, he, he could have tried to I don't know if he could have prevented it long term wise, but I think a bit a bit uh, careless there by Mabu to just allow this so easily. Could have made it a bit more difficult for Ben. Um, And yeah, no, 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 definitely some interesting, interesting ideas in the chat box. Um, I mean, if you do play rook f5, knight maybe goes back, I think. Would you play yeah, yeah, I, I, would, I, would, I would play my knight back. Um, yeah, but, but uh, I would play knight back and then you can always push f4 one day and then your file is open yeah. or, or, or double or, up. Or you could play dragon g5 or, or whatever the yeah. case may be. There's lots, yeah. lots happening. Uh, you're right, yeah. Um, and yeah, the, uh, some people are saying in the chat, it looks like a normal chess position, yeah, standard stuff. That's well, gonna also even happen Calvin, in chess I mean, game. can't you also play, uh... no, no, you can't play bishop h6. I almost wanted to go there. That's not you check, can't yes, yeah, it's not yet no, check. Um, Dragon on b8 is a spectator in the chat. Yeah, Dragon on b8 is not uh, too happy right now. Black needs a couple of moves. Mabu finds this rookie five is almost like an only move, and that and that's the thing about Mabu. He finds these only moves to stay in the game, even if it's for a couple more moves. But uh, Ben needs to produce now. I mean, that knight g7, you want to just make your opponent in the next couple of moves. Okay, maybe material. Um, Mabu is just forcing Ben to come up with more moves.
But other move uh, besides uh, knight g f5 could be plausible. Whoa! Here. Ben decides to go all in immediately f4. What does he want to? Why does he want to remove the knight? The knight has yeah. been in the knight has been invited by the black king as a special guest. And why would you just remove yourself? Yeah, Ben is saying, why don't you we just open up the position? Yeah, yeah. So f4 and Mabu immediately takes the knight of g7. So he gives up the rook. And he obviously is trying to block the situation. And not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Okay, knight f5 is still coming now. Yeah, but I mean knight f5 is coming and then suddenly. Oh, it's, uh, I mean, how do you. Can't you just capture if you capture when the queen. Ooh, no, no, no. The dragon c4 is covering the e5 knight. Don't make that mistake. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, but knight f5 check. I mean, the knight to five check is I check it, I guess. And then you can just uh, I mean maybe try to remove the dragon on C4 by playing dragon to B2, I guess. And okay, we we uh, this this looks kinda good, but it seems like Mabu has at least Avoided getting mated immediately or anything drastic. Uh, Mapu Google says F4 might have been a bit too icy by Ben. Uh, Fawaze says Dragon H6 would, uh, would have won a queen. Not so. Dragon to H6. Win Dragon to H6. Um, not too sure. Uh, what about. Uh, okay, plays Knight A5. H5. H5. So he's swapping off pieces up. Huh? Okay, he's, 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 he's eyeing the h6 square, of course. He's, in fact, the takes... No, no, f7 is still covered by the c4 dragon. Things are heating up. Uh, ben is in exchange up for one pawn. Mabu does have a serious knight on e5, though. He does have a serious knight. The knight on e5 can, cannot be chased. It's covering the critical f7 square. Black's main concern is just his king and the dark squares around it. Uh, but the noise can... um, scares him. Okay, it might be some. Maybe it's the computer or something. I'm not sure. I can see there's a bit of a disturbance. Mm. Hopefully, it's not too bad, guys. Maybe, yeah, Calvin. Uh, threatening, maybe, say, Dragon Bishop H6, maybe. And then playing Bishop G5. I mean, Dragon Bishop. Uh, I mean, after that, there's so many threats. Yeah. Yeah, I can see there's a bit of a service. Let me take my mic out and put it back in. I mean, ju uh, just with normal bishops on the board, uh, that king is in all sorts of trouble. Very difficult to defend. I mean, with uh, the dragon bishops, I would even think this is fatal. Yeah, yeah. It's scary name. Just let me know if it's uh, really bad. Uh, if it's at least uh, tolerable. But yeah, I agree with you, Lance. It, it's I mean, Black needs to just. Um, I think Mabu just needs to survive the next couple of moves. The knight on e5 is very strong. Um, just to catch up on the chat as well. Um, dragon to g5 threat. Double attack. Yes, h7 could be hanging. That knight on. Yeah, dragon to g5 is a huge threat, Lance. Okay, but the queen can swing around. Uh, then that knight on e5 is a monster map of says dragon to e6 is back maybe okay and uh ben now plays this dragon to g5 move hmm. not too sure where my mic is catching this noise guys let's put the mic over here Okay, might be better right now. Okay, anyway. Sorry, Lance, I lost a bit of uh, focus here. I was looking at my mic making a noise here. So any, anyways, uh, Dragon G5, the Queen is being hit, and H7 is threatened. How do you stop this, Lance? Black structure actually doesn't look too bad, except for his king. Um, okay, cool. I think I solved it, yeah. Uh, Okay, apparently your mic is just too clear, Lance. 
my <laughs> mic. Yeah, you're using a stock stand at computer uh, mic, right? Yeah, no, it's a Built -in normal mic. laptop. Mic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 apologies. No, no, but I think I sorted out my one now, at least. So, so yeah. Anyways, um, so let's see. Uh, so, 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 uh, Mfazwe is saying, uh, how does a uh, dragon move? So, yeah, Mabugube is saying he uh, prefer dragon e6. So, how does a dragon bishop move? It move? Dragon bishop can move in a the normal a bishop movement, but also the, 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 the knight movement, you always move one straight and one diagonally. So, always the straight movement first and then diagonally. So, the dragon bishop on h6 is actually not attacking the queen on g8 because the pawn on h7 is in the way. All right, so that is important for you to to remember. The dragon on h6 is attacking the f7 pawn because he can go via g6 to f7. So one straight first and one diagonally. Ben is very low on the clock. Whoa, queen takes f7. Uh, ben has got 10 seconds left. Marvel's got 30 minutes. Um, queen takes f7. The dragon on c4 is covering it. The queen on g8 is covering it. After dragon takes f7, dragon takes f7, check will come oh, and then yeah, the queen so the will have to take and then the rook and takes f7 the knight is still pinned yeah wow. nice 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 there by ben so just nothing a pawn basically and uh, ben is all over mobs here um thanks bungee you guys you can check out that link that bungee posted over there in Vazwe. you can just check that check that out on chessvariants.com um there's I mean, the rules I mean, of the, paradigm uh, chastity also calvin the, the it's also now threatening to capture the dragon bishop Ah, okay. Dragon Bishop on D7 is hanging, yes. Yeah, it's hanging. So the knight is not providing all the comfort of defense that uh, it, it, it seems like it should be doing because of this long diagonal A1 to H8. And Ben is doing good here. So how about Dragon takes Queen? Dragon takes uh, F7 check, but then Queen G7. Blocking the check. Dragon takes queen. Dragon takes queen right now. Dragon takes f7. Check. Queen g7. Yeah. Queen g7. Oh, oh uh, king g7. Queen. Know. Queen g7. Blocking the check. So. Do you see that one, Lance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that one. So, so that looks like... Uh, then it's more like Ben sacked his queen for a dragon and a pawn. Instead, uh, Mabu takes queen, takes queen instead. I thought that that was an opportunity for Mabu to 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 unbalance it more and get the queen. Um, yeah. Uh, so 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 Luto, you can check out that link. You can also find uh, find out more or, or stay up to date. Go and like our uh, Facebook page, Paradigm Chess Study, um, and you you can read a, a lot more on it and 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 see and stay up to date basically with with things that's happening. You guys can also check out my YouTube channel, um, Calvin Class and Chess. There's uh, lots of SA Paradigm uh, uh, episodes on there. Previous tournaments like the, the the Paradigm Kings tournament that I am still won, and the Four Queens tournament that uh, Lauren um, uh, Wellenberg won. And um, there's also some introductory uh, episodes over there. So lots on on the uh, on the Calvin Class and Chess YouTube channel. Of course, there's other normal chess streams as well that you can enjoy. So, uh, yeah, things are heating up. Rook takes f7, dragon takes, dragon to b5, threatening the dragon on c3. Mabu is trying to get rid of the spin on the long diagonal. I'm thinking, yeah, I don't know if it's, no, it can't work. Oh, so ben had to give up his dragon. Giving up the dragon. Whoa, what's happening here? Maybe there's something we're not oh, seeing. Oh, ben, yeah. ben lost on time. Ben lost on time. Oh. Ben lost on time. Weird. Okay, but the diagonal was 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 uh, uncomfortable over there. Let's let's get the players on. Uh, let's just ask Mabu to unmute. Mabu, we can't hear you. Uh, ben, can, uh, can can you hear us? Uh, ben is on zero. Ben is on zero. Yeah, yeah. I I, I didn't. Uh, we, we can't hear you, Ben. We can't hear you. Just sort out that. Can you hear me now? Aha, uh -huh, okay. Okay, so Mubs, you on the scoreboard. Uh, tough one there, Ben. What's the final evaluation at the end here, guys? Um, I don't you, know. I you, think... you had an issue with the diagonal, Ben. Yeah, yeah. yeah actually... but, ben, but Ben, 
Rook takes ben, ben F7. Rook takes F7 should win, man. I, I, I saw a ghost actually that I saw. I mean, just Rook takes F7 instead of Queen takes. Instead of Queen takes. Ah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, um. Uh, uh, sorry, Ben. Can I, can I please uh, come in quickly before, before I forget my ten of Yeah, yeah. Ben, yeah, yeah, sure. I thought you should have taken on G7 much earlier. Yeah, I thought I was thinking about it too. Yeah, you should, uh, you know when I when I played when I played C5, I think you should have yes. taken then. I, okay. I'm not sure, but 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 I but I think so. Uh, okay. Uh, um, so you just basically you said okay, so what, okay, it's gonna happen. So let's just just happen. So. Yeah, it's because of look at look at those bishops, eh? Yeah, 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 from sure. the from, <laughs> yeah. And, yes, and and um, just something something else. Yeah, just before uh, we go to the next game. I wanted to ask uh, Mubs, did you, did you see, um, you played queen takes f7, could you not have taken yeah, a screen, dragon takes f7, dragon takes queen? Yeah, then he's just winning man, I mean... And then after uh, dragon takes queen, dragon takes queen f7 g7. check, then queen g7 blocks the check and you save yeah, your queen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so that is yeah, something... Yeah, then you're winning. So, um, so Calvin. Yeah? Yeah. What I missed was something so silly, man. Rook takes f7. Yeah. I thought he can play dragon g4, but I forgot I can just take it. Rook takes? She said, oh, dragon g4? I can just take it. I, I, th that's what I uh, I started to use too much time. And I mean, uh, ah. rook takes f7. And then uh, I think it should be quite crushing, actually. Yeah, no, it seemed like you had a crushing position over there, but the map st yeah, stayed, yeah. stayed in the game. And uh, yeah, that's that's what he's been doing. He's been forcing his, his opponents to, to come up with the good. So so well done, Mubs. Um, okay, sure. Nice game, um, Mubs. And uh, tough what, one. What, what time? Um, what, what what time are we starting the, the next game? Let's just check the schedule over here. Uh, let me just check, guys. So I mean, the round one is nine. Really? So twenty two. Yeah, we are actually supposed to start now again. Okay, yeah, but but I'll give me like two, two minutes. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, give, minutes, I'll give you five minutes, five. guys. Five let's minutes, let's yeah, take yeah, a five break and then we'll be back soon. Um, okay, okay, Lance, thanks. we'll see you soon sure. as well. Right, five minute break. Thanks. Yeah. So we are back and um, we are ready to continue with the second game of the match. We have. Uh, uh, Johannes with the white pieces this time. He won the first game in a dramatic style over there. He was defending for a long time and then um, eventually at the last moment started fighting back and Ben lost on time over there. So uh, a crazy game. Um, ben might uh, feel like that he missed his chances over there, but Mabu solid as ever defending ferociously. So um, now if you guys can notice the previous game, the position was like, uh, I think the dragon bishops were on the left and the knights were next to the king. Yeah, I think it is pr appropriate um, because I re just repacked the board and then the board gave me this. So now the dragon bishops are on the other side and the knights are on the left. So this is our position. And um, like I said, you has got the white pieces, Ben has got the black pieces. Ben is in a must-win situation to, to level the score and go into tie breaks. Ioannis only needs a draw or more to go through. Uh, not to go through to to take third position in the tournament with a prize of four thousand rand. Now, of course, the fourth place position, the loser of this ma match, still goes home with a three thousand rand. So, so yeah. Um, players, are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good luck. You guys can mute, and uh, Johannes, you can start whenever you are ready. Let's just make sure the players are muted, Lance. Okay, here we go, Lance. So this should be interesting. Now the dragon bishops are on the other side of the board. And the knights are, are on the left. So very similar um, to the previous one. Or maybe very different, actually. Because the dragon bishops are on the king's side. On the, uh, the previous game, the dragon bishops were eyeing the king's side so freely. Now they're actually eyeing the queen's side. It might be a lot more different. It might, might be a slower game. Yeah, I also think maybe it'll be a bit more positional. Uh, but more slower setup. And, um, oh, yeah, we see an interesting idea. We haven't seen a lot. Mabu playing h3 here uh, to develop the dragon bishop to h2. So, hmm. 
Yeah, and, and like I mentioned, uh, I'm sure Ben is definitely gonna. Uh, this is a tough one for Ben. He's got the black pieces. He must win. The main thing is he must forget about the previous game. The previous game was a real tragedy. Tragedy. You one definitely feels like Ben had a a very overwhelming advantage over there. And to not to win a game like that and even lose it can be psychologically uh, very difficult to bounce back from. But yeah, this tournament has been going well. These players have been playing long and hard. I mean, Calvin, now, I mean, what, what, what would you do now? I mean, you black normally, uh, you've just played a game that you should have won and uh, you're playing with the black pieces. What do you do? Do you just lash out or do you just I think that's, that's probably the main uh, temptation just to start lashing out and take your frustrations, frustrations out from the previous game. But the sober thing would be to just calm down and to play, take the handle the position what it's giving you from what it's giving you but i must admit it's very difficult to do that yeah so uh, we'll see how how restrained uh ben is and of course mabu uh very experienced player he will understand the psychological uh advantage he has and he might end up just playing very very solid and frustrate ben and knowing knowingly that uh his opponent might want to lash out at some point so We'll see how Mabu handles it, but yeah. there's definitely a big advantage for Mabu right now, tournament situation. White pieces only needs a draw. So, so, so yeah, Ben needs to come up with the goods here. So, so if you would play black, you would, you would uh, maybe play a move like D5 now and just uh, D5? go all in. D5 looks good to me actually right now. D5 looks good. Uh, I know, what to maybe play a move like F5 now. <laughs> just to... <laughs> Just to, uh, he's been gambling some central pawns in the last couple of games, especially against Ben, I think so. Uh, F5 actually doesn't look bad as well, but D5 looks more natural. Yeah, now that you're mentioning it now, it's uh, suddenly that F5 does, doesn't, doesn't look bad at all. Attractive to play. Yeah, F5, pawn takes e F5, then D5. And... Um, I would even go as far to say in this format, I think uh, playing with, with the initiative, like with pawn downs, going for setups like that is a bit more beneficial in going this uh, orthodox way of playing or conservative way of playing. So yeah. Definitely. I, I would definitely consider F5. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, that's like I said, that's what Ma uh, Watu has been doing in these games. Watu has been uh, gambiting some pawns like that. So definitely uh, an interesting way to, to start your game. And Ben the goes the most solid route. He goes D5, yeah? yeah that's the principle uh, <coughs> way to play, to play D5, yeah. And you can just uh, see the, the visuals from Mabu. You one can't help but just notice that Mabu is charged up with those plugs next to him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and um <laughs> and ben fully focused as well <laughs> that's really funny that that is uh, this is plug that yeah you definitely yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so uh, one can be sure if mabu wins his, his his phone will be will be fully charged to receive phone calls i wonder where what's his energy source where he gets his energy from who's his supplier because it looks it's, it's, constant. De it's definitely not escom because escom <laughs> does not provide stability at all so <laughs> so yeah dragon to d3 interesting move some uh. some weird play here um can black play f5 now lance i want to go f5 f5 wow it looks interesting f5 to play uh, e4 after that and just ah but f5 e4 and then the dragon d3 to f4 might be irritating maybe i'm uh, i'm i'm forgetting about the the agility from that dragon bishop we can't chase it so easily as a bishop so ben plays the more sober dragon to e7 
Mabu castles, Mabu does his thing. Usually in the no in chess games he does that. Mabu is known for his solidity. And you know, I've 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 seen Mabu change uh, with with his openings uh, uh Lance. He he was first an E4 player, and nowadays he's known for his, his solid D4 stuff, classical play. And I think I noticed that switch up uh, when he made the Olympiad team, when he went got to the Olympiad first, I, I noticed that he started playing D4. And I at some point he told me that he wanted to play more classical. Um more solid so he, his style i would say um is more one of the more uh, tough tough guys to beat in, in the country because he's very solid very classical and um that's what he's used to doing but yeah i'm not sure about the dragon on e4 getting chased around ben has taken a lot of space i think uh, someone like uh, mapu guve would also enjoy this type of positions for black uh in fact black, ben hasn't uh Gambit at the pawn to get this position. Mm, I mean, what would you play now? Would you play uh, Queen D7 for Longcastle, maybe? And then it would be quite idea. fun to have some opposite yes. color castling, eh? I would love to see that, yes. I would love to see that. Or do you first yeah. just keep your options open? Do you de develop the Dragon Bishop on G8? Maybe Dragon to D5. And then you have options. Short Castle. The, the question is... Do you want to give your opponent something to to attack? I mean, isn't the king probably just quite safe on g8 and you've got this comfortable comfortable center? Or if you long castle, then white can play a4, a5, or is there maybe I'm just maybe I'm seeing ghosts here. Definitely long castling is an option. Bungie says dragon to e6, perhaps. That would be a classical Sicilian-like structure lance for Definitely. from the white side with dragon to e6. I love that setup. Um, I think it's Daniel King, but okay, that's from the black point. But I, I just remember Daniel King saying those chunky bishops in the in the Sicilian night of, but he's mentioned referring to the the black bishops, not not the whites whites bishops. But in any or any event, those dragon bishops on e7 e6 would look chunky. Um, Scarius name says Mabu's true source of energy is Nog is not in view. The dragon toothpick, yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> That dragon toothpick did. He had to uh, lick his teeth or, or lick, lick his lips and, and get the meat out basically with that dragon toothpick last time. You know, dragons consume a lot of meat, Lance, so toothpicks can be useful. Um, so Ben goes for the, again, the more solid looking dragon to F7. Dragon to F7. And he's, 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 he's iron castling, I guess. Uh, Mabu, what is he going to do? Ah, he goes d4. Okay. So this is, this is the idea. He's controlling the d4 square with his dragon bishop on c2. Is Ben going to go e4? But then there's the risk after e4 that maybe white can play f3. And uh, the center can crumble. So important moment. I like this by Mabu. And the, bishop, the dragon bishop on h2 is going to get more life. I mean, black could possibly just castle here as well. The e5 square is kind of covered. But after takes, takes, and the rook e1, there could be issues. Yes, indeed. Hypermodern dragon on h2. And can you push forward in this position? I mean, uh, pushing forward. Uh... Uh, you mean you mean e4? I was thinking of e4, but then e4 can white can white maybe play f3 or what? Or is it not possible? Uh, you really don't want to be um, messing up that point, but there Ben plays the, the, the sober move. Castling, aha. Uh -huh. So my question is just pawn takes e5, knight takes e5, rook e1. Instead, uh, Mabu is rushing in with knight a3. I thought, but okay, it makes sense to develop though. Makes sense to develop. Banji says dragon f7 doesn't look so great. Um... Yeah, I thought Mabu could take on e5. 
And instead he goes for this. But okay, he develops. Makes sense. Knight b5 sometimes is a possibility. You can go... Of course, the knight on c1 just wants to join and then knight is ready for, for the game. Question is, what does, what does black really have? Does black have any advantage here? Doesn't seem like it anymore. So development makes sense there by Maru. And a 10 struggle now. Rookie 1 probably also an idea. Uh, knight d3, knight b3 for white. Now white's play is a bit more easier than black's play. I Seems mean, when, like when you start to attack from, I mean, uh, those pawns are, are quite vulnerable in the center. Yeah. But uh, can can black maybe just take on d4? Take on d4 and then plant the knight on d5. Mm, takes on d4. If you, if you capture on d4, I mean, that's why they have to capture back. That's what happened. Yeah. Yep, Bond is d4, Bond is d4. Uh, the chat says dragon h4 with queen d5 in mind. Oh, okay. Okay. Dragon to h4. But the dragon on h4 won't yet be hitting a g2 though. That might be. What dragon d5 now or queen or knight? What I... would you put on d5? I would I would put um naturally I want to put the knight on d5, but now that you're asking the question, maybe dragon on d5. Dragon on d5 doesn't look too bad. Oh yeah, that, that would definitely be some serious intentions by putting your dragon bishop there on d5 compared to putting the knight there. I in the g7, then you just need to swing your pieces over. Yeah, queen d7 was played eventually, just connecting the rooks and also covering f5. Mapugubi was saying, uh, uh, dragon f7 to d5 and maybe a rook f6. Aha, rook f6 and perhaps rook g6. That seems to be quite an in, in, interesting setup as well. Okay, but Ben goes for the song queen d7 again. Seems like Ben is doing, um, what, what I said was very, very difficult to do, and that is just playing the game on a very uh, sober level, I would say, and not you uh, thinking of the previous game and trying to lash out. So Ben is doing a good thing, just just staying in the game and not, not you know, sometimes when we know we need to get the result, we can overplay it and then the game is over very quickly. Ben is staying in the game. And this is what Garrick as part of did against um, Anatoly Karpov as well in the, the famous match where, where in the last game, Gary needed a win. And everybody was contemplating what Gary will do. Is he going? Gary needed a win just to equalize the score. Uh, Anatoly was leading the match and he was going to get his title back. Uh, but everybody was contemplating. Uh, yeah, was it? I'm not sure. Is it 1990 or, or what? Sevilla so, or something. I'm not sure. We I can't remember now. But uh, it's one of the. Uh, yeah. Sevilla. So, so, so well, uh 1987, Bungie says. And um, yeah, so we were contemplating. Uh, get Gary playing some aggressive lines and Gary ended up playing a slow, quiet, ready opening. And he, uh, they say that a lot of times, if you know you need a result, I mean, the side that needs the draw is also a bit uh, nervous and he also wants to get the draw and secure. So just keeping the game going on longer and longer and longer also increases the tension and makes... Uh, up for a good uh, uh, atmosphere for possible mistakes and eventually no, we know what happened Gary eventually won a long grueling end game over there so so this is uh, not bad by Ben I, I would say just to stay in the game for now not over committing but um, let's see what happens black species looks better developed in a sense or more naturally developed uh, traditionally. Mabu's knight on a3 looks weird. This knight on c1 needs to still get out. And of course, he has this isolated pawn on d4. But um, Mabu's dragon bishops do look active though. Yeah, the thing with Mambo's position also, I'm uh, trying to also figure out what's he going to do with his uh, knight on c1. Where is that knight going to go to? 
Yeah, D3 would be the most uh, active square, but does he have time to do that? Uh, yes, Bungie, it was a queen and bishop endgame. Yes, indeed. Um, so, dragon B3, Marble wants to exchange off a, a, a pair of dragon bishops. Uh, I don't see me one that maybe we'll put the knight on D5, maybe? Dragon on D5? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I wouldn't be too unhappy with a normal chess position here for black. If you get your pawn on C6 eventually. Um, to blockade the isolated pawn, but uh, and uh, Mabu Guvia says, right strategy by white, try to exchange off these dragon bishops, uh, maybe to calm down the game, I would say. Okay, um, but yeah, Lance 95 looks like an interesting idea. One can just but uh, wonder if that is not just allowing white's dragon bishops to, to, to pressurize the position. Do you, do you maybe what about dragon to d5 and just say okay if you capture then i'll plant the dragon on d5 again maybe pawn to f4 is a possibility after that so how about dragon f7 to d5 that's maybe, maybe an idea. that's not a bad idea that's and then again the rook f6 is an idea also Because I think that the, the knight on b6 maybe this also still has a function there on b6, it's protecting the d5 and maybe just uh, keeping knight of c, uh, knight c4 out of the way. Yeah, you don't want knight c4, knight e5 unnecessarily to to happen yeah. if you got, got the black pieces. Banji is saying f4 immediately. Interesting. And Mapunguve says knight d5 is the only way for the match situation. Then f4 and f3 and so on. So yeah. There's lots of choices, and that's why Ben is taking his time. It's getting a, a close to critical moment here now for, for Ben. He's, he's pressed on the mm -hmm. clock. He's got six and a half minutes. Mabu's got 11 minutes. So what would you go? You've got the knight move, uh, dragon bishop d5, or f4. Those uh, looks like very decent candidate yeah, moves. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the chat is saying dragon to d5, maybe knight b5. Yeah, I saw knight b5 with some ideas of maybe just coming back to c3. Yep. Also, c7 might be under pressure. Ben goes for the other dragon bishop. He goes hmm. dragon e7 to d5. So it seems like he wants to establish something on d5, but I mean, uh, white is not forced to capture immunity. Knight b5 still is an interesting idea, but what does Ben have up his sleeve here? Um, white still, it feels like white needs one or two more moves. Just to fully equalize, yeah. I mean, uh, the other move that Black would also love to play, if Black can also have his other rook on e8. e8 or d8, yeah. Mm. Yeah, then, I mean, the pieces will then be a lovely place for, for an attack. Yeah, e e8 does make sense, yes. I like uh, the rook on e8 as well. Pawn to f4 also looks interesting. But it would be interesting to see Kelvin eh, in games where you're actually attacking with all your pieces with dragon bishops. I mean, it's like, oh, it would be a real fire. Imagine black just starts to get all his pieces aiming at that king. So it takes on d5 happened, dragon takes d5, and, and Ben's got his dragon uh, established on d5, eyeing the g2 square and f4 square. Mabu comes out and he's hovering over knight b3. Knight on b3 would be eyeing the c5 square. Yep, knight b3 played. Over protecting d4, eyeing knight c5. I don't think knight c5 is a huge problem for, for black. I mean, Ben will want to swing the queen over to the king side anyways. He's not going to worry about the b7 pawn, or he should not be worrying about the b7 pawn. So I'm expecting... Well, things are getting interesting here, Lance. Things are getting interesting. Pawn to f4. f3 might be on the cards. Um, yeah, f4, why not? Things are heating up. Queen f5, queen f7, something. The queen wants to come over. Maybe a rook f6, a rook g6. Um, you can't help but feel that those knights on a3 and b3 for white feel a bit left out. They would love to come and uh, make the white king feel a bit safer. 
would say they're definitely offside, especially that knight on an a3. Yep, and that's why Mabu, he feels that he senses it and he goes knight to b5. Um, c7 is not hanging, but he wants to go knight c3 to disrupt that, to dislodge that dragon bishop on d5. Uh, Mabu Guve feels like Mabu has misplayed this slightly. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know if it was necessary to just capture on d5 immediately, but um, definitely slightly easier to play for black yes. Uh, what would you start off with here, Lancel? I know you enjoy your attacking uh, possibilities as well. I mean, definitely you want to be looking at a move like F3 even in this position. F3 played. Nice. F3 is on the board. G2 is on fire. There's fire breathing down the, the diagonal. The dragon bishop is knocking on the door here. It's knocking on the gates. So what do you do? You don't want to play g4, but if you play g3, the dragon bishop... Whoa, but h3 is also hanging. Oof. So it looks like Mabu has to go g4. He goes g4. He goes g4, so the dragon bishop is still open, yes. Um, h5 is something that stands out immediately. h5, but uh, I'm just trying to think now, is there maybe anything sharper than, than, than h5 i mean you would like to play h5 if there's nothing just to have something to bite on yeah bungie says that will be a nice hole in e3 soon rook f4 not sure how e3 is providing a square but rook f4 rook g4 check ah rook to f4 hmm yeah, Rook F4, I forgot that the Dragon Bishop can also protect this, so that would be a very interesting. Okay, so Rook F4, uh, Rook G4 takes Queen, say, takes and Dragon G3, guys. Maybe just Queen H3. Yeah. So Rook yeah. F4, uh, chat is saying Knight C3, perhaps. Yeah, Rook F4 looks super dangerous. I like Rook F4. Uh, the, 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 the people in the chat lines is uh, calculating furiously. They are not missing anything here. Yeah, it's a very interesting position, this one. I mean, this one, it's, uh, it's really nice. Uh, we have a king that looks vulnerable, and um, you have an opponent, a player here now, that has to win this match. You know what I mean? So... Very exciting. So, uh, for, uh, in terms of the context of this game, Rook F5, uh, I mean, Rook F4 would be a very uh, nice move to play. Rook F4, yeah. Um... Okay, but just my question here, guys. You guys are saying Rook F4, Knight C3, and then Dragon E6. Why can't we still just, oh, the Dragon H2 is covering the G4 pawn. Yeah, it's not so easy. Dragon on H2 is covering the G4 pawn. That's the thing. Yeah, H5 but H5 first. is on the board. But but yeah, uh, Lance, uh, like the engines, we've got two lines running basically. Yeah, we've got the Bungie engine and the Mapungufu engine. <laughs> yeah. We've got so it's nice to have these assistants, man. Yep. <laughs> we just need the evaluation bar now, and then, then we sort it. Where do you put the queen now? That's the thing. Uh, uh, Look at those four knights. Look at those four knights. Something aesthetically pleasing over there on that side. Uh, okay, queen f7 looks decent to me. I don't see anything else besides queen f7. What else? Queen f7. Don't we want to maybe keep the tension on g4 maybe? Or... By playing okay. what? Queen c8. Queen c8 looks... Yeah, it doesn't look nice, that. It's a bit weird. It's not impossible, though. It's not impossible, but queen f7 no, looks much the... more natural. Yeah, the dragon bishop is protecting there, so... Ah, okay, scariest name. Look at the four dragon slayers. Look at the four dragon slayers. Very aesthetically pleasing, yeah. Yes, indeed. No, but I, I, I kind of feel the Dragon Slayers have stepped aside here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, they on their own buzz, they on that side. 
the dragon bishops are circling the king the white king but uh, the dragon slayers are on their own mission okay abu Sela plays dragon slayer to d3 and that knight can go to e5 next possibly but okay at least the knight of c6 is covering we, it uh, can't we maybe play uh, h6 in this position h6 what do you mean h6 a6 uh, uh, h6 uh, sorry a6 a6 uh, but, but then the knight's gonna go to c3 and attack the dragon bishop on d5 anyway that's what white wants to do white wants to get his knights into uh onto better squares closer to the center so i don't think you want to just allow that knight to go to c3 and chase the dragon bishop rook a8 much more harmonious getting all the pieces in the game Yeah, Ben is keeping the tension, knight to c3 anyway, so I mean, a6, like you see, Lancer would probably just help white to do what he wants to do. Where can we move this uh, dragon bishop? It would be a nice place to put it. Yeah, that, that's the right scariest name. That's the word I was looking for. Quest, yeah, they on a quest. Uh, yeah. Question is where to put the dragon bishop. Ben is hovering over c4. Is c4 the correct square? Or maybe, uh, I mean, it would be nice if you somehow could have exchanged, say, your dragon bishop for your opponent. Dragon he, bishop he, he's, think, he's thinking about dragon to d6. You're right, Lance. Yeah, exactly. And then, I mean, then that king will seriously be weak. Yes. Now a normal chess position, the white king is, is too exposed. So b3 is played, and is Ben going to go dragon to d6 now? I think it should be played as maybe that was his idea. Mapungufa says uh, Mabs knows how to defend, so let's see. This is gonna be a real test. How do you defend now? I think you should probably take on d6 or what else? Oh, knight e5. Oh no, but the rook on e8 is there. The rook on e8 is cut. That the rook e8 was a nice move earlier by Ben. So. What does white do? I must say, if I'm white here, yeah, I'll be feeling very, very uncomfortable. Mabu's got a lot of time though. He's got nine minutes. Ben is on two minutes, 40 seconds. Um, and the interesting Mabu Mabu says, Mabu is, uh, uh, knows how to defend. He's, he's, very he's a very calm customer. And Ben is a good attacking player. So it's Christmas for the spectators. <laughs> so we're seeing what the guys love to do of course mobs mobs can also attack nicely but uh we know he's a he's a he's a good defender yeah i just want to know how is he gonna find this over the board defense here yeah it's, it's a bit rough yeah i can't find a move here for white maybe hmm. Okay, this is when we need our engines, guys. Now we need some suggestions for white. Maybe king h1. King h1 and... Just takes an h2, takes an h2, takes on h5. Rook g1. How about d4 is also hanging in these positions? Oof. Yeah, it's too many, too many things are hanging here. I mean, just a normal exchanging of dragon bishops, capturing on g4, and then suddenly... That king is exposed. Uh, the, the longer I look at this, this is the more I feel like white is just lost. Okay, and Bungie gives the evaluation here, Lance. After dragon, d6, double exclamation, 0 0.6. <laughs> Minus 0 0.6. I would I would not be so uh, light on that. I would I would evaluate this like uh, minus, minus 2 at least. I'm giving it a minus 2 for black here. Mm. But Mabs uh, can has a luxury of taking his time here. Yeah, he's gonna try to find the best resource here. He's gonna try to find the best resource, but uh, you can see he's uh, he's not uh, finding it that easy to find something. Yeah, he's taking his time. I 
I would think uh, first of all for White to to not get mated in the next ten moves would be a big accomplishment. I think that's maybe the first objective for White is not to get mated. Um, how? That's the the the, the question. Maybe Rook E one. Maybe Rook E one because at some point if we can get Knight E four at least. Yeah, Queen G six punches is also coming up. D4 is loose. Then you could play knight e2 check as well. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, um, Vazway says knight e5, a pawn sack, that's possible. Mapunguve says uh, takes on d6 and then knight b5. Yeah, I mean, I think black can probably just play queen g6, continue with queen g6. Not too sure what the knight is doing on b5. Yeah, it's it's very difficult for white. Uh, playing knight e5, takes takes everything on, and rook takes e5. Normal chess position. Rook on e5 already lands, ready to swing over. Mm. I don't see white surviving this. Yeah, it's amazing now with that pawn being so far away, the g4, and it just... It's amazing. Out. Yeah, how Ben... Uh, all of his pieces are playing well. Ben, ben really uh, uh, did this attack quite nice. And uh, the chat is already uh, shouting out playoff potentially. Yeah, so. Okay, uh, Mabu goes for uh, Luto's suggestion of 95. Okay, it's still up to Ben to, to play the normal moves. Yeah, you could sometimes just see some ghosts. But Ben goes straight forward for takes on e5. And it's looking very gloomy. Yeah. Uh, Takes on e5, rook takes e5, and we have a normal chess position on the board. And uh, I don't think Ben is going to throw this one away, guys. Mabu now starts playing faster. He needs to put Ben under pressure on the clock. Queen d4, the rook on e5 is hanging. What are we going to see, Lance? Rook g5? Rook g5? The queen on d4 is, of course, covering the g4 pawn. So it looks like a good move by Mabu. Looks like a good move. And material, black is up one pawn, so Mabu's trying to stay in the game here. I like that idea by Mabs. Uh, rook g5, then, then white still has time to, to try to do something because black still needs more ammo on g4. Yeah, but, but what are you going to do then after uh, rook g5 and then... I don't know, maybe king h2 or something. Oh, the king h2 doesn't work. Maybe king h2, but Ben plays uh, queen e6 instead, keeping an eye on g4. And uh, not too sure about queen e6. It, it looks solid. Yeah, okay, okay. If you look, uh, look at it, it's centralizing quite nicely. But Mabu is holding on. King h2 played. Uh, Luto is saying knight e1 with knight e3 next after, after rook g4. Knight e1 with knight e3. Aha. I mean, knight d1 probably, knight d1 and knight e3. And Mabu just needs one or two more moves, then he's back in the game. Mabu just uh, needs maybe a rook g1 left. You think he'll capture them, I mean? Take on g4, what is white going to take back? With queen takes g4. Takes... But after queen takes g4, yeah, we could see an end game with black being a pawn up. Uh, but after king g3, that f3 pawn can be weak. So Mabu would love to get into an end game. Where he's at least just one pawn down and black needs to cover that f3 guy the whole time. And Ben is getting low on the clock as well. So Mabu is staying in the game. That's what we've seen in this tournament. The players just need to stay in the game. We saw Henry won, won a game against Mabu. Uh, even in a close to losing position just by hanging on. And this is what Mabu is doing. He's hanging on in this position. 95 played. Ben wants to exchange knights. Okay, he's threatening to go knight f4 perhaps even. So, takes on d5, rook takes d5, and then the queen is being hassled. And then he could potentially even play a move like queen d6 check. Kicking the, the white king back there. I like that idea by Ben. Nice move. So what would you do here with your exchange on d5? 
I mean, I, I, if I were white, right, I don't like the idea of knight f4 coming, but is knight f4 tolerable, Lance? Can you let black get the knight on e4? It just doesn't look good for your health in this situation. Allowing the, what else then? I think, but after knight takes d5, rook takes d5, queen d6 is, queen d6 check is coming. That's the problem. Queen d6 check is coming and then the king will have to go back. You want to get the rook g1 in and rook g3 or something. But after queen d6 check, the king has to go back to g1 and then white, black can continue terrorizing the open king over there. So I think that's an excellent move, knight d5 by Ben. And Mabu is soaking up the time. He has to come up with something to stay in the game. How about... Is it possible to go rook fe1 here? Rook fe1 possible? Mm, or am I no. crazy? Just to give up the exchange, but after queen d5, check. Uh, rook f7, ok. Yeah, that was my idea. Rook e1 and then takes, takes, queen takes e1 and queen takes d5, check. And hoping for perpetual rook f7. And then check and then king out. Yeah, then it seems like black might be able to to get out of it. Maybe that's a bit of wishful thinking. Uh, Mambo plays rook g1 instead. So he didn't uh, capture the knight. Because of that forcing variation. Yeah, rook f7, Mabu Guvia probably just holds it for, or is winning for black. Uh, rook f4, Ben, look at that centralization of the pieces. Rook f4, the black army is really focused um, in the center. Queen d2 played by Mabs. Mabs is holding on that rook on g1, is holding the g4 pawn still. You want the black queen to get onto h4 lance. How about pawn takes g4? Pawn takes g4, rook h5, check. There's so many moves you can play here for black. Pawn takes g4, pawn takes g4, rook h5, check, and takes on h5, and rook h4 is mate. Um, yes, Mabugovia, centralization there by Ben Bodvinik, of course. Um, uh, uh, Luto says hg, yes, hg, and I think white will have to play a rook takes. Okay, after hd. No, uh, I think hg uh, is just busted. HG, look, look, if HG, HG, then Rook H5 is mate in two. All right. And if HG, Rook takes, then we just play a Rook takes, G4, Pawn takes, and um, do we just go Queen takes, G4? Ben played Rook F6. Did I miss something, Lance? Was HG not just winning? H6, what was it played? He played the Rook to, rook to F6. He played the Rook to F6. I, I mean, what's have... going to happen? I just want to know, Calvin, what's going to happen if you play the capture after knight takes knight? After knight takes knight, when? Does it still work? No, I mean, uh, when the rook was on f4. And uh, pawn takes g4? Played... Oh, you mean immediately knight takes knight for black? Yeah, immediately knight takes queen knight. queen takes knight? So, so, what? Knight takes knight, queen takes knight. Queen, and then you can, ca then you can capture the, the rook. The rook would be hanging on f4. Oh, you mean white plays knight takes knight? Yeah. I mean, oh, if you've played... Oh, pawn takes g4, knight takes knight. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I'm saying if okay. you've played h takes g4, then maybe white would have played... Okay, that's that's the idea, yes. Maybe that's why Ben retracted the rook. Because then the rook will be hanging. I see your idea, Lance. And hg, knight d5... A swing over. Yeah, I guess that's the reason why. Nice, nicely spotted there, Lance. So Mab's getting in this rook g3 move. He's staying in the game. Ben is on 10 seconds, guys. Ben needs to come up with a move soon. Five seconds. Oof. Oof. Ben is uh, leaving it uh, <laughs> for... <laughs> For the last couple of seconds, we've seen a couple of games being lost on time here. Yeah. Mabu is in there. Mabu is in it. He's defending hard. Ben has got 12 seconds left. Another move is also playable. Maybe Rook E8. I don't know. Yep. Pawn takes G4 was played. Pawn takes A. Your move comes in. 
I would love to calculate that HG in my D5 again. Isn't there a check? I think Babu might play the move here. Um, rook takes G4. He played pawn takes, but the rook G4 ah. was also interesting. Uh, check, Ben checks on the H file. King G1, of course. Whew. Now, Mabu needs to watch out for that back rank issues. F3 is hanging, though. F3 is hanging. So Mabu is in the game. White, if White manages to get that F3 pawn, then he's then back suddenly... in the game. And Ben is low on the clock. We might not even see a playoffs here, guys. Ben needs to. Ben needs to come up with something immediately here. Rook G5. I think Mabu is gonna snatch, snatch off that F3 pawn. Queen takes F3. Queen takes F3, and Mabs is back in it. Mabs is back in it. Are we going to see a Rook H4, perhaps? Nope, Rook G6 is hovering over. Rook G6. Uh, Mabugove says, Queen F6 to H4 was better. Maybe going for the for the mating idea, yes. Feels like Black had something over there. Uh, Rook H6 to G6. Ben gives a bit of a shake of the head. He's not happy. Uh, but more of a more shaking, and he's definitely not happy. G4 is hanging. Mapunguve says draw. So now, of course, we're in the realm of normal chess lands and drawing possibilities. Yeah, draw is, is definitely play. I mean, doable. Uh, yeah. G4 is hanging. Is hanging. Yeah. G4 is hanging. B7 is hanging. Of course, I'm. I'm. Mabo wouldn't be thinking about taking on B7, but but how to consolidate? Rook D1. I was thinking about rook d1, but how do you respond with if you do capture on g4? I mean, I mean, there's still a bit of danger here. Rook takes g4 is is it's, still a threat. It's gonna almost look like that uh, what to and Ben game where White's king will be slightly open from yesterday. Uh, but Black has the extra luxury, of course, of having an extra pawn on the queen side, but not so easy anymore. Ben definitely threw away a lot of his advantage, and this is what we. Said earlier about Mabu defending tough, a uh, 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 tough defender. So again, Mabu has has uh, has played excellently to even get get yeah, into this position. Definitely. Uh, I mean, uh, what move do we have here? And Mabu's wait, thinking wait, now. Do do? I was thinking, Calvin. What about you have? I mean, rook d1 to go to d8, I mean... Rook d1, let's take on g4. Rook d8, check. King h7. Check. But you, you don't have time to go queen f8. Yeah, he... But you could maybe take on g4, but then black can even bail out into a rook endgame. Not sure uh, that is if that you can survive this for white in that rook endgame. Because the rook on g4 okay the rook is on g4 not g5 so he can't swing over to the a file that could be a possibility even but uh yeah maps goes the rook d1 he needs to activate his last piece g4 is hanging anyway i don't think ben has much to do here he has to take on g4 yes it kept on g4 yes he takes on g4 so black is up a pawn in the screen and double rook end game a pair of rooks is gonna get traded Maybe King G2, maybe? King G2, we take on G3. King. I mean, it's still difficult in this position. Even it being a pawn up, I mean, both kings are not that safe. Yeah, so so that Rook D8 and King H7 is an idea, yes. Uh, in the chat, they're also saying Rook C1 was perhaps better than Rook D1. Mabs goes rook takes rook and he says, "Okay, I'm I'm inviting you to a rook end game. Sure. I'm going to try to save this rook end game upon down. The rook on d1 is is uh, poised to to go active on d7. Ben says, "Nope, he's not going to uh, exchange queens. Rook takes. The king is heavily exposed. King f1, and king then there's f1 follows with yeah." Yep, and queen a6 is also there. Queen a6. Um, queen a6. Yes, queen d3. Queen a6, queen d3. 
And Ben is low on the clock. He's a pawn up, but he needs to now... Uh... But you can also play queen e3, uh, e2 in this position if... Uh, ah, check. No, queen e2, rook g1 wins on the spot over there. Okay. Uh, so, so queen d3 uh, is yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, forced yeah. over here. But can Ben convert this rook end game? Doesn't seem like he has a mate here, guys. So mouse plays queen d3. Yeah, let's get I mean, some a2 is hanging, but it feels like you can't take on a2. Uh, ah, ooh, Mabin Gugwe finds a nice one, a nice tactic, rook d1, uh, rook d4, sorry. But uh, is it winning, though? Is it winning? Ah, he plays it immediately. I, I'm not sure if this is winning, actually. Ouch. I'm not too sure if this is winning. Mabin Gugwe says, yes, it is winning. This is crazy stuff. Because, okay, black will have more tempi, I guess, on the queen side. But... We must just watch out for this pawn to b4. Uh, okay, but now king f5, king f5, king f3, and a5. Yeah, that, that looks good for black a lance. I don't know if Mab, Mab should have played f4. Um, yeah, I like this A5 idea. When black has millions of tempi lungs, he's got G6, he's got C6, he's got A6. So, big, right? A4, A5, A4. Are we going to see A6? Hmm. Are we going to see king c5, perhaps? Yeah, I think Ben has got this one, actually. Mapu Gouvier is spotting it a mile away. This should be a one. White is running out of moves, yeah. And it looks like we're getting closer to a tie-break situation, Lance. Mubs, of course, still asking Ben to come up with the goods. c5 played. King e3, are we going to see c4? c4 and ben not hesitating too much he's he's seeing the plan yeah surely now this should be winning now i mean king e4 king before are we gonna see him Mab's trying to block the king nope there's no time he runs but there's no time i think black wall well let's let's see king g6 king i mean king b3 Takes on g7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, black should be doing good, yeah. Yeah, he's not king before. Oof. King b4. Yeah. You wanted to play king b4 and then it's f8, queen, check. Did he play f4, b4? No. I don't know. If I, I, let's just count here. So king takes g7, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, Three, four. Yeah, king on b4, that would have been instant draw. Maybe Mab's got. Is this a draw? The a pawn, the queen endgame. Yeah, now here we, we comes to uh, some theory on it. Uh, queen I mean, a1 is finish. check. Queen a1 is check. Ah. Yeah, but you queen, can always. Queen a1 is check. Okay, I'm, I'm, I would have, would have been winning anyway, but it, it would just be a silly mistake to put the, the king on that dark square. So Ben has secured this one, basically. Yeah, I mean, he can just give up the, the and just queen the other pawn as well. There's no yeah. need Ooh. to go into so ben, complicated... ben coming up with the goods over here, Lance, and he's forcing a tie-break situation. Just move the other pawn. And the game is done. Wow. Entertainment. Entertainment. Let's, uh, let's get the players mm. back on. Let's just ask to unmute. <laughs> ben, can you hear us? Uh, we, we can't hear you. Just make sure your audio is okay. Mubs is just taking a small break there, it seems. But we can we can just chat to Ben for a second there. Let's hope we get Mubs back soon. Now uh, I just, I think one of Mubs' plugs are out there. Did you see the plugs? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so you need to just make sure. Ben, well done. You're back in it. 
Yeah, oh, well, that wasn't a very good conversion there. It's such a good position. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, was... we thought that Mavs was back in it. I mean, just psychologically, not to to get to to win that uh, again, another nice position. Uh, at least you did yourself a nice psychological thing there by actually converting eventually. I mean, it would have been a huge tragedy if you couldn't win both of those nice attacking positions. Um, yeah. Mubs, uh, Mubs, uh, we, I thought you were escaping that one. That's all, man. You know what? I, I, I thought that point in game was, was a draw, but yes. Yeah. So those, it, those two points are still two points, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so uh, it was interesting. Uh, Mabun Gube in the chat immediately said it's lost for for the king pawn, for the king pawn in game, but still, okay. I think I think um, I think you had your chances there. Even I, excellent defense there, excellent defense again. <laughs> so we're seeing a team over holding. here, guys. Um, I was holding there, man. I was I was just telling Ben Mabs it would have been a an absolute tragedy if Ben couldn't win both of those attacking games yes so, yes <laughs> so yeah uh, anyways i see i see calvin i'm sticking to my 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 trend in the tournament i always lose the first game okay i um, mean every round even okay. even the, the group oh okay i see i see okay so you're staying true to your form um okay so Mabs is just uh, calling a friend there maybe we must give ben the 50 50 option Prishan, can you please come online at one man sorry man because of I'm, I'm playing online now man <laughs> does, does, does your friend um, want to say something wh wh what time were you supposed to come online <laughs> yeah okay nice <laughs> job. okay all right is that your final answer Mabs? Oh, is that, oh, he can't, yes. Mabs, is that your final answer? I thought that I'll give Ben a 50-50 because you decided to call a friend. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Give, 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 give Ben give Ben a 50-50. Uh, yeah. No, the thing is, is that uh, I arranged a lesson at 8-11. But uh -huh. you see now, Ben just breaks. refuses to lose. <laughs> you see, so, okay, so, so yeah. guys, just, just, to, <laughs> just to remind everybody now... Um, uh, the tie breaks, we have adjusted slightly for this last two matches. Tie breaks are three games. 